Lucy, how art thou? Great. Good, good, good. Well, if, uh, if you ever do need anybody else to talk to, you know where to find me, yes? Good, good. Cherish our chats. Later, ladies. I'm a different person. I just don't know if I've got the courage to tell her who I am. If I thought I'm in any doubt, I always put on a game face. Observe. Then I've let you into a secret. The ladies love it. You thought, you thought I was being honest. What kind of a selfish dad would want his kid to live in a family that doesn't love him? I've had enough. I just wanted to say thank you. I meant it, Lucy. I care about you, about, uh, about all of my employees. I'm a very good listener. You must be a really good dad. A dad? I'm, uh, Lucy, I'm not, I'm not, uh, not a dad. Sorry, I just, I just assumed you you're married. Yeah, well, I was very young then, Lucy, very young. How do you think I am? Um, 48, 49. Okay, well, I'm not. Um, no, Lucy, I'm not a dad, I'm an uncle. Not that I wouldn't be more than happy to have a beautiful young daughter like you. Listen, Lucy. I think I should probably go. L Lucy, Lucy. Some folk, they can put their hand over an animal's head and actually hear what it's thinking. Thought snatching. Mr B, I'm not a total wally. I don't tell stories now, do I? Sounds to me like you could be one of them. You might just be the junior Dr Doolittle. It's a girl staying here at the moment. Turns out she could hardly hear a word I was saying. And I didn't even notice. Yeah, from what I've heard, you weren't the only one. You just have to do your best. You taught me that. And when I got here, it wasn't a dad I wanted anyway. I already had one of them. Well, you don't need one now, dear. I mean, look at you. You're on your way to a farm of your own. Yeah, I know. <laughs> there won't just be cattle on it. I think I want to foster as well. Like you. Look, it's been a long night, yeah? I get it. But I'm not your problem. What are we going to do about Kerry's other husband, eh? He's welcome, sir. You and Kerry are finished? Well, uh, don't mind if I ever tried here. Thought you'd be more grateful, little bro. I'm grateful I'm not you. I mean, it's best you find out now that she's a loose one than when you're all legal, though. Do you want out when I'm in there? The roof to collapse. Go somewhere you wanted. Are you kicking me out? You tried it on with me for your own sake. And I've got... I've got nowhere to go, mate. Sign up again. I can't, Dan. We parted sort of... not brilliantly. You've been done for nicking, haven't you? Hey, you're a thief. I swear, Dan, you were on thin ice. Yep, yep, right. Well, I'll be here. What do they say? Huh? Oh, they're sending someone over. Waste of time. It's obviously kids. They'll be flogging them down the local by now. I'm screwed. I haven't got enough tools to finish the job. I mean, you ain't short, right, Graham? I'll get down the pub if you like. Hey, mate, it's not funny. Look, I'm only doing this as a favour to your dad. But you can't walk out on us, Graham. Lads, I wasn't making enough profit on this job as it was. You can't walk off a job halfway through. I thought I told you to look after your brother. I, I was. I... Oh, he's reacting to the drugs in his body. We don't know the potency of what he's taking. Drugs? Taylor swallowed something bad. I, I phoned an ambulance as soon as I realised. You I... called 999. Yes. From now on, you stay away from Taylor. All right, let's not make any ultimatum. He nearly killed my son! Please, please. We'll deal with this later. Sure we will, Dad. Are you going to let me talk to you like this? Just calm down. 
Chill out, the both of you. What if I don't want to chill out? Hey, look. We can sort this out when we get back well, to Well, yeah, the then you'll take her side as usual. Look, stop! Ah! stop. That's enough. Well, Rich, where are you going? God. I need some air. You clearly have some issues that you need to talk through. What do you know about stress? Yeah, yeah stress. Eating right. Such a turn-off. OK, I would like you both to leave now, please. Sex isn't fun anymore. You think I'm having fun? I'll fake it every time. It's like a forest down there. I'm coping. You can't cope. Not on your own. Nobody can. You and Gina sat together with that baby for two whole days. You're the only people that can truly comfort each other. Comfort? There is no comfort. <laughs> How could there be? I'll never get over this. I only knew him for two. Two days. <sighs> it's not much, is it? <sighs> you go and be with her, Phil. That's an order.